Guys, I'm Rasim from RossmoreTech.com, and this is another tutorial in Swift programming. Now, in this class, I'm going to talk about the if and else statement. So let's get started. Now, what is the if and else statement? Well, the if and else statement are conditional statements. It's a statement that compares uh, value, and if the value is true, it does something, and if the value is not true, it does something else. So I'll show you how that works. Let's start off with the if statement first. This is how we type in the if statement. We type in if, hit space, or actually let, let's uh, declare a variable before the if statement. So let this be a constant variable. So we're going to type in let red equal one, right? So red equals the integer value of one. So now we're going to start the if statement. So we're going to type in if space. Uh, we're going to say uh, red and two equal symbols is equal to one. Right? Then we're going to use this open curly brace and closing curly brace. Inside this open and closing curly brace, actually in between the open and closing curly brace, we're going to type in enter a few times. Now this is the block here. This is the if statement block. On top here, we're testing whether or not uh, red is equal to 1. If red is equal to 1, it's going to do something in between this block here. So we're going to give it something to do. So let's, um, let's use a print line statement. So we're going to type in P-R-I-N-T-L-N, -N, open and close parentheses. And I want it to print out a message. So we're going, to, we're going to print out a string. So we need a set of double quotes. So two double quotes. In between the two double quotes, we're going to type in yes. So if the red is equal to one, it's going to print out yes, or else it's going to do nothing. So let's just hit play here and see what happens. Build succeeded and it printed out yes. But now let's change the value of red to two. Let's see what happens. So let's hit play here. Build succeeded. And it printed out nothing because there is no, no uh, else statement. So that's the next statement I'm going to get to, an else statement. If uh, it's, it's basically tells the computer if uh, whatever condition you're testing is not true, it's going to do something else, and you give it a statement to do. So this is the syntax of an else statement. We, we type in E-L-S-E, -E, and again, an open and closing curly brace. In between the open and closing curly brace, we're going to hit enter a few times. Now in between, this is the block here of an else statement. Between the open and closing curly braces, where you're going to uh, put the code you want it to do. So we're going to type in another uh, print line statement. So we're going to type in P-R-I-N-T-L-N, -N, open and close parentheses. And we want it to print out another string, so a set of double quotes. Inside this set of double quotes, we're going to print out no. All right. So now, again. Uh, we have a variable here that we declared. It's a constant variable, and we gave it an integer value of 2. And we started an if statement here. We said if red is equal, this two equal symbols, it's a uh, comparison operator. And I'll talk more about the other comparison operators. Basically, two equal symbols tells the program uh, to compare the two if they're equal to each other. One equal symbol is assigning value. You would be assigning the value of red 1. Or up here, in this case, we're assigning the value of red Two. One equal symbol is assigning value. Two equal symbols is comparing value. So now, again, if uh, red is equal to one, it's going to print that yes. It's, or if it's, if it's not true, it's going to jump straight to the else. Then it's going to print that no. In this case, it's not true, so it should print that no. Let's hit play and see what happens. Build succeeded, and it printed out no. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmoreTech.com, and thanks for watching.